How's it going, East Tennessee? Hope you have been enjoying this absolutely beautiful Saturday that we have been having. Whole lot of sunshine, some partly cloudy skies, and temperatures got pretty hot, getting into the upper 80s to lower 90s. Now, as we look towards the rest of the nighttime, that clarity might end for a little bit, but if you're making some dinner plans, you should be able to make it back home in time before we see some of these next round of storms starting to make their way in. We are seeing the possibility of some shortwave energy thunderstorms making their way through as we get into the late night and overnight hours, but most models have those ending as we get further into your Sunday morning. So here's a look at that radar as of about 5 to 6 p.m. We've been watching this cluster of storms make their way from Scott Campbell County heading into parts of Anderson County as well. So if you're on the northern side of Oak Ridge getting into the rest of northern Anderson County, that's going to be something to look out for as well, especially if you're going to be hanging on this northern side of Knox County as well. Also getting into Union County, you see some more of those general rains, maybe a couple of heavier thunderstorms as well. But as we get through the rest of this evening, we'll see that clarity for a little bit longer. But as we get into the nighttime hours, this next cluster of storms is going to start to work its way in coming from Middle Tennessee and Middle Kentucky, working their way through during some of the late night hours. A couple of stronger storms, but we're not looking at anything severe, and then we'll likely see that rain start to fall apart, become more so some general rain. It might not possibly be this widespread as we get into some of those nighttime hours, and then that continues to fade out of the way. Now, in terms of rain chances tomorrow and through the rest of the week, you can see we finally have a dry patch. Again, we do see those rain chances for your Sunday. Leftover rain as we get into your Monday morning dry for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank goodness. And then as we get towards the end of the week, we see those rain chances start to reappear. Now for Sunday in particular, we are looking at that level one severe risk for some of these storms that do come through. Again, mostly going to be coming through during the evening time. And here's a look at that future cast right now. So those storms again passing through towards your Saturday night. Generally, if you're going to have some late night Plans, that's going to be something to keep an eye out for your Sunday morning looking to be mostly clear. It looks like some models do have some leftover rain sticking around into around the time you wake up, but that should mostly be out of the way by the late morning and for much of the afternoon as well. But once again, as we get closer to dinner time, we see some more of those storms starting to work their way through. You see from here in East Tennessee all the way down past Birmingham into the southern part of Alabama. So some of those stronger storms again, level one severe risk for some gusty winds and maybe some hail as well going to be passing through. Some of them may actually be strengthened a little bit, but generally as we cross over into your Monday morning around that midnight mark as when we're going to see a lot of those stronger storms either fade away or move out of the region and then we'll see some lighter rains as we get into the rest of your Monday morning. That's mainly why we see those rain chances as we get into much of your Monday. But once we hit about your Monday afternoon, maybe a couple spotty afternoon showers, but continuing into Tuesday and Wednesday, much drier conditions and much more comfortable conditions as well. Now rainfall through all of this as we get through your Sunday, you see most people generally around a half an Inch if you do get that rain and then maybe a couple more isolated spots you see here along the mountains that would mostly come from some of that uplift of storms that do actually reappear and re-strengthen as they finally start to leave the area. But of course, we'd usually know that our rain is a lot more spotty than that. We're likely going to see some isolated places that have that heavier rain that's going to be coming with the storms that roll through. Temperatures through this point, they're going to be dropping because of a cold front associated with these storms. So lower 80s for the beginning of the week, but you see Tuesday 87 degrees right back closer to average and Wednesday and Thursday and even the week beyond going to be hitting those lower 90s. We're going to be back into the heat that we've been seeing today. But on the bright side, the muggy meter is finally taking a drop still high today and on your Sunday because of that rainfall that could come through, but dropping down into the comfortable levels from Monday until about Wednesday. And it seems like with that heat, unfortunately, comes back some of that humidity as well, coming along with some of those rain chances. So again, this is the satellite radar we're seeing right now. Mostly calm conditions until we likely get back into the rest of the evening. But here's a look at that seven day forecast. Much more comfortable conditions and much more of an easy forecast that we're seeing compared to last week with just the possibility of that rain through much of the day. Again, rising back into the 90s as we hit the middle of the week, continuing into the weekend, and we'll keep watching those storm chances.